Hi, this is Randy, and guess what time it is? It's I bought another jewelry jar from Picky Nikki unboxing time. So let's see what goodies Nikki sent me. Let's figure out what I'm going to do with them. I think she outdid herself. Oh dear, and there's some stuff in here that's wrapped. I may have fun with it. Get my scissors handy. Had to wiggle around. We'll set those aside. And let's see what we got here, okay? Uh, oh, okay, so this. I'll get this open. Here, I'm going to take some of these and set them aside. And start grabbing. So we have room. Okay, here's a lovely little necklace of Milliflory beads. These are very popular. You just can't go wrong with Milliflory. Now I don't have any anything to test. There's a little mark. And knowing Nikki, this has probably got some sterling, at least on the clasp. So there's a lovely piece. Now here is uh it's a it's a lovely yellow dyed druzy oval so isn't that lovely and of course that little rascal has taped it shut so i can't get that out of there we'll just have to admire it as is now oh oh look at this look at this snail let's see if i can see just offhand, I don't see a maker mark, but look at that snail. Isn't he gorgeous? Now, I wouldn't mind him crawling in my garden. Now, here's another little pin, and it's lovely. It's got enamel work. It's got butterflies. I don't see a maker mark. Isn't that pretty? Okay, here's a loose necklace. Now, this is a costume piece. Here's the front. Now, uh, this stone is magnesite. So if you looked at my Gem of the Week video, this is magnesite, and it's got some rhinestones. It's an older piece. There's a little bit of tarnish. It, it looks coppery to me. These beads look coppery. And that copper would lend itself very nicely with those beads. Now, okay, now I've got to go to opening bags. And I'll try to do so as quickly as I can. Ooh, here's a bracelet. A stretch bracelet. And these are cold stones. I really don't have a clue because, well, let's put it this way. They could be glass. Let's look at the holes. So how you can tell on stones and glass when they're both cold is by looking at the hole. And by looking at the holes on these and looking at the color saturation, I'm going to say these are glass. But that's very pretty. That's a very nice piece. Okay. Here's a turquoise colored piece. And again... Oh, this is a lovely multiple multi-strand necklace. Again, this is, it's hard to tell. It could be a plastic, but it also could be a magnesite. It's vein, but I'm looking at the holes, and the holes tell me that this is plastic. Or, I'm sorry, excuse me, bad me, mesite. Um, but it's veined like magnesite to look like that. So that's attractive. And let's see what else we got. Ooh, oh my, look at this. It's a bracelet. It's a little, these are plastic beads. They're not glass. Now, the, the, the rhinestones in the butterfly do look like they're glass, but these beads here do not appear to be glass. They're cool. 
And I could be wrong on that. I'll have to do some further looking. But isn't that intriguing? I'm sure somebody would love to have that. And it just wouldn't be a bag from Nikki if she didn't throw in some rings. Now in here we have sterling. This is sterling. And here is a pretty sterling ring. It feels like it's a man-made lucite type thing in there. It doesn't feel cold like a stone. This is a piece of coral, very pretty, with the Bali style. Here, oh, it's got a purplish stone, and it, it, it look well, and it's hard to tell in the light that I'm in. There's very possibility that could be a, a low-grade sapphire, because uh, I see blue in it. So that's nice. I'll test everything, of course. Oh, look. Here's porpoises. Aren't they nice? Sometimes I get this, I guess, in my estimation, I think the sea life gets overdone. But that's very pretty. And then this is just a little chain. Always can use more silver chains. Now, what else do we have? This says blue glass beads, and they're just a, a pretty pair or a pretty necklace of blue glass beads. They're variated. Uh, these are not vintage beads. They're more modern beads, but they're they're very nice. And then they have faux pearls. But I really like the way these beads are. Look at that. Like they're a little cracked. Okay. Now, so far, everything's looking good. You can always get good quality from Nikki. Here's one of those little statement necklaces. I don't see a brand on it. These appear to be a loose side. They're kind of a, a strawberry color. It reminds me of jelly, you know? So that's nice. And here we have a bangle that somebody got from, or that was made to be sold at Macy's. You know, where I live, it's a fairly good sized town. We've got over 100,000 people. And we used to have a Macy's, but they closed quite a while ago. They just they just couldn't make it. Now, originally, and here's, it's a magnet. So this is an orange metal mesh with rhinestones. All the rhinestones are attached. And this bracelet originally sold for $22. How about them apples? Now, let's see what we've got. Oh, this is just a beautiful strand of, looks like ametrine, because I see yellow. So you might think, oh, that's amethyst, but I'm guessing this is ametrine. I'll, I'll have to test it, and it could be a combination. It could be a strand of, uh, of citrine with amethyst, but that's great, because you know I love to make jewelry. And here is a little stone. Now that looks like, and I've got to get it close to my face, it looks like a, a rutilated quartz or a quartz of some sort. It does have some relation of some sort in there, although I don't see gold. And here's another good piece. 
Oh my. Oh, wow. Look at this. Another necklace. This one is long. And it's got multiple... I've got to figure out how it works. Okay, here's the clasp. So this is long. And so it, it, it hangs with the that to one side. And then you've got the chain. You've got several chains. And these... These are plastic. Let's see if we've got any. I don't see a brand, but you know what? That. That is really nice. I just might take this rascal apart and just use this. This is really nice. I like that. Ooh, how would that look with pearls? Maybe pink pearls? What do y'all think? Here's another bracelet. Um, just a simple little cuff. It's seed beads in a uh, indigenous style. It looks like it could have been handmade. Here are some more little bracelets. Now, this is a natural stone bracelet. It's a faceted. Now, this could be a faceted sodalite. It can also be a blue quartz. Have to test it. Here's just one of those little stretch rhinestone bracelets. And this one is cold. So, that looks like carnelian to me. That's really nice. What else have we got? Oh, some more loose stones. Okay, I'm going to say that this is the chevron amethyst. So I've got two pretty stones. Because see the chevron here? See that? I'm guessing that that's what that is. And I've got my little baggies here. More. Nikki knows I, I, I make jewelry, and so she sent a lot of uh, of the type of things that I would use. It's hard to tell what these are. I can't get them close enough to my face. They're cold. Now generally when they're on a strand that has that, generally what you've got is a strand of gemstones that have been put together in India because they put them on these cloth strings and I think this is a partial. I think this is one that broke because generally you'll have these at both ends. But they feel cold. So what it looks like I've got is it looks like I've got some blue topaz. I see some citrine, some quartz, some black. So I'm going to say those are real gemstones. Then we have a little fashion pin on the card. New in box, so to speak. And isn't that a pretty little butterfly? And the butterfly has these little spots on them that kind of re are reminiscent of uh, cat's eye. There we go with the hat. Oh, here we have a, a oh, more little gemstones. What are these? Malachite. Wow! Look at those. Boy, I wish I made jewelry. I'm, I'm not going to be, I'm going to have to sell these as is because I don't make jewelry. But if somebody did, you could certainly put these in a ring uh, or on a little bracelet. But they're beautiful little uh, six by four uh, pear shaped malachite stones. Very nice. And the last little thing we've got. Ooh, okay. More on a strand. Yep, I was right. So I'm looking at the bag that this comes in. If I can get it open. 
Remember what I was just showing you. This is Druzy, dyed Druzy, and it's made in India. So see, you find something with these lovely, the, the, they're, they're probably silk. And, and a lot of times they'll put little spacers of uh, uh, glass or plastic in between the stones. But this was put together in India, so these are druzy. But this little tassel tells you, and see there's one on either end. And then you can take that tassel and you can make jewelry out of that if tassels are your thing. So this says that they are green druzy quartz. Remember quartz? We did a, a gem of the month on druzy. Uh, and druzy is quartz. So these are, these are nice. There's enough here to do a necklace um, and earrings, although they're a little heavy for earrings, so I'm thinking these be better off for that. So here is my haul from Mickey. Uh, my jewelry jar, if, you know, she gives several sizes of jewelry jars that are very reasonable, and man, she loaded me up. I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, so, you know, think about it. Uh, and uh, so I've got items here that will be resold, items here that will be taken apart and uh, reconfigured into something else, and then I've got jewelry making items uh, for making something new. So thank you for letting me share, and I look forward to seeing you in the chats.